Hello, anyone not still living in the 1970s? We interrupt your day to bring you this announcement. Husker Ninja is in the building. Alright guys, welcome to episode number 8 of the Akron Zips Dynasty right here on NCAA 14. Today we're here in week 8 taking on Miami, Ohio at home. Uh, you know, we're facing them after a massive comeback last week against Northern Illinois. You can see... Uh, Miami Ohio comes in three and two, one and one in conference play. We're two and two. We've beaten Bowling Green in Northern Illinois, but lost to Buffalo and Ohio, the two teams ahead of us in the standings. So hello everyone, and welcome to Infocision Stadium in Akron, Ohio. We got some Week Eight football here for you today between the Akron Zips and Miami Ohio Red Hawks. Akron will get the ball to start. It's a second and 14 here early. Cato Nelson's rolling out. He sees daylight down the sideline. Cato Nelson will escape the pocket and scramble for 16 and a first down. Later on out is a third and five. Nelson rolling out again. And he's going to take off again. He's got this one down the sideline into Miami territory down inside the 40. And two carries 35 yards already today for Nelson, the redshirt sophomore. It's a first down now from the 35 of the Red Hawks. Nelson's back to pass. This time he does throw. It's caught by Stewart, and Nate Stewart's got this one into the red zone down inside the 20 on a gain of 18. The drive would stall out, and out comes Tom O'Leary, who remains perfect on field goal tries this year. He'll give Akron the 3-0 lead. And Miami with the ball on offense. Gus Rockland thrown down like a rag doll by Brian Bell. So a big time play right there for the linebacker. It sets up a second and 17. They'll go to the screen. And Alonzo Smith has nowhere to go. That play doomed from the start. It's a loss of three to set up third and a mile. Uh, they would punt, but then Akron would punt right back. And right there, that's picked up by Butler. Butler intercepts Raglan for the first turnover of the game. You can see he just stepped right in front of the throw, stepped in front of the receiver. Easy opportunity to jump that route and come up with the takeaway. That would take us to the end of the first quarter. Akron's got a 3-0 lead over Miami, Ohio, 3-1 here at home. And a fourth and three to begin the second quarter would be good as O'Leary continues to remain perfect on field goal tries. It's a 6-0 Akron lead, but Raglan will keep this one himself on the read option. And there goes Gus Raglan down the sideline. Finally flung down inside the 15, but again a 64 for Raglan on the read option. Quarterback kept it himself, picked up massive yardage. Later on a second and goal, and Thomas will get into the end zone. Maurice Thomas with the one-yard touchdown run to put the Red Hawks in front. 6.29 left now first half. It's a one-point lead for Miami, Ohio. They'll give to Edwards Jr. And Van Edwards Jr. with 13 yards and an Akron first down right there. He went right up the middle. 10 carries, 30 yards so far today for the senior. Uh, the drive would stall out, and on a third and 10, Miami, Ohio goes back to the screen. It's Alonzo Smith blown up in the backfield for a loss of four. And Miami, Ohio would punt it back to Akron. Now uh, third and ten for the Zips going deep has a man. It's caught by Williams. And Andre Williams goes up, climbs the ladder, and hauls that one in. It's a gain of 32, and a big time third down conversion there for the Zips. Uh, they are now into the red zone. Got a chance to take this lead back. A second and ten, 3:42 left first half. Nelson's back to pass. Throws that's intercepted by Thompson. And they wanted the real route, and that was jumped by Thompson. His first turnover of the day, and both teams now have thrown an interception. On first down, they go to Smith. To the screen, Smith will lose the football. Comes loose, picked up by Davis. Alvin Davis going to take this one all the way back. The free safety scoops up the loose fumble and makes a house call to give Akron the lead with 3.30 left in the first half. You can see going right back there, that ball was definitely out. It looked like it was Ulysses Gilbert III who knocked that ball loose. 
And the junior safety, Alvin Davis, says thank you very much, and he's got reservations for six. Akron now leads 13-10 after the scoop and score on defense. Miami, Ohio's got this one in the Zips territory now, but Brian Bell there to make the tackle in the backfield to set up a second and 12. Raglan back to pass. Pressure comes down. He goes. Raglan hit and dropped by Ulysses Gilbert, the third. His first tackle for Lost State sets up third and 21 now for the Red Hawks. Raglan back to pass. He is going to be unloading. Caught by Carter, and he's got the first down. Are you kidding me? James Gardner got 26 on a third and 21. And now on second and seven, they'll throw underneath to Homer. Homer's got this one down inside the five. 16 yards for Andrew Homer. It'll be first and goal for Miami, Ohio. 52 seconds left in the half. They'll give to Homer, and this time he'll finish it on the ground. One yard touchdown run for the tight end. And Miami, Ohio's got a 14-13 lead. Nelson back to pass. So it's caught by Burkhart. Dustin Burkhart makes the grab for a gain of 14 out to about the 40. They're on a fourth and 10, and they're going to go for it, and Williams can't hold on to it. Bit of a risky gamble, and Cato Nelson's pass falls incomplete. You can see he's only 5 of 21. Not a very proficient start today. Ragnan, pressure comes down, he goes. Loss of eight and a big time sack by defensive tackle Brock Boxen. It's now 10 seconds left, second and 18. Let's throw that picked off. Zaire Jacobs, the sophomore cornerback, comes up with the INT. And that will keep Miami, Ohio from adding on to the lead before the end of the half. So the risky decision does not come back to bite the Zips. They still only trail by one here. Third quarter, it's second and 15. Ulysses Gilbert makes a stop in the backfield, and Miami, Ohio would end up punting. Now, Akron with the ball back. They'll give to Edwards Jr. and Van Edwards Jr. up the middle. He's got 13. Take that ball across midfield. And it's another Akron first down. Now it's a second and three, 520 left third quarter. Nelson's back to pass. Has a man open. Williams goes up, climbs the ladder. He's got it, and he broke loose. Williams going to carry that one inside the 10. The tight end, Newman Williams, goes up, hauls it in, and he comes down, stays on his feet, makes a man miss, and gets about 20 extra yards. Big time pass play right there to set up first and goal for Akron. Later on, fourth and goal. They're rolling the dice, going for it. Fourth and goal from the one. Nelson throws, caught by Andre Williams. The sophomore wideout's got the touchdown, and that'll put the Zips back on top. Score is 19 to 14, and they would go for two, didn't get it. So it remains 19 14 with 340 left in the third quarter. And right there, Davis, the second there to blow up uh, the running back in the backfield. It's a loss of three, nothing doing right there. Ragland wants to take off, tries to scramble. He's dropped again. It's a loss of five this time. As Akron defense is forced back to back stops behind the line of scrimmage. It's third and 17 now for the Red Hawks. Ragland's back to pass. Going deep. Nice catch by Mayick. And, you know, that was just a great throw to lead him. Pretty decent coverage. Just a better throw to beat the good defense. Later on, they would move down into the red zone. Third and goal pass is caught in the end zone. Miami, Ohio is now back in front. 20 to 19. Dominique Robinson made the grab. They would go for two and also did not get it, so it's 20 to 19 through three. One, three gone, one remaining here in Akron. Can the Zips pull off the win and improve to five and two, or will they fall to four and three? We'll find out now. Fourth and two going for it again. There's Edwards Jr. up the middle. He's got that one across the 45, and a fourth down conversion keeps the drive alive for the Zips. They're on his fourth and five. They're going for it again, and that pass is overthrown. Edwards Jr. was wide open out of the backfield, and they just flat missed him. So Miami, Ohio would drive all the way down to the goal line, but on fourth and goal, they would have to settle for a three. And so there will be a minute 18 left and three timeouts for Akron to get a touchdown and win this game. Second and ten, pass caught by Williams on the curl route. Andre Williams gets the first down, gets out of bounds across the 40, down to the 42. Third and eight now, 44 seconds left to 
And Nelson's back to pass those underneath. That will be caught by Stewart. And Stewart's going to have just enough for the first down. Nate Stewart going to get the extra effort to fight for the extra yardage and convert. Now it's a fourth and three. There's Burkhart with the grab along the sideline. The drive is alive, and the game is still alive here for the Zips. 29 seconds left. It's second and 10. Got it out to 27. Back to pass to Nelson. Caught by Smith and quad area. Smith will make the catch. He'll get out of bounds. Inside the 15 down to about the 13 of the Red Hawks. 24 seconds left now. Still out of timeouts. Nelson back to pass. He wants to wheel right, and that's jumped and intercepted by Banks. And that will do it. The second interception of the day, both came on the wheel route, and that will secure the loss for Akron. Yeah, not a great day throwing for Cato Nelson. He didn't have a great completion percentage, only had one touchdown and two picks. Uh, Van Edwards Jr. had 26 carries, 97 yards, so the running game was okay, but not great. But you can see a large part of the problem was there were also a ton of drops. There were seven drops combined today and it's going to be tough to win when you're having that many drops the defense i thought actually played well 12 tackles for brian bell five for loss two sacks gilbert and brown or and boxing also had sacks butler and zaire jacobs had interceptions gilbert had the forced fumble the fumble recovery and the scoop and score went to alvin davis so i mean the defense played well they won the turnover battle three to two it's just Drops killed us, and an inefficient passing game killed us. And that'll do it for me, and I will see you guys next time. Have a great day, everybody.